Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick unboxing video. Um, for quite some time now, for about, about a year, I've been using this uh, GMC uh, 320S Geiger counter. Um, mainly looking for like antiques, you know, at the antique shops. Uh, it works great for beta and for gamma radiation, but it doesn't detect any of the alpha. And that's where I'm kind of running into some issues when it comes to like uranium glass and some of the, the lighter type uh, items. And plus it makes it where uh, you have to be pretty much right up on a lot of the Fiesta wear and stuff before it'll actually detect it. If you're within about five feet of it, you can start hearing the clicks, getting a little bit close, you know, something's a little bit different. But uh, I wanted to get something a little bit stronger. And so that's why I came to the conclusion to just go ahead and pull the trigger on the GMC 600. Now this one detects alpha, beta, and gamma. So let me go ahead and open this box up and let's take a quick look at it. Apologize, I'm doing everything one-handed today. Uh, so right out of the box it comes with a charging cord. Also it can use, be used as a data, a data connection with the computer. And then inside of here we're going to have our unit and then it has a quick user guide right here. So let me, once again, get this opened up real quick. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this is kind of a cool deal. I wanted to wait to pull the plastic off it the rest of the way until I could show this. It actually has a case on it. I didn't expect that. I did not expect a case where you could put it on your belt. That's stinking cool. Uh, of course, it comes with the, put it the right way around, little card here. And it gives you an idea of what is what when it comes to the amount of radiation you detect. Okay, let's take a look at this. It actually looks way thicker than the one I've currently got. I did not expect that either. I thought it was going to be about the same size. But it makes sense because I think this one has a pancake detector or something like that. Oh yeah, that's a beefy unit. There we go. Turn it the right way around here. Trying to look at everything through the camera. There we go. Oh, that's a nice looking unit. And then on the back side, there's the pancake sensor on the back of it. So it should make it a lot easier to detect everything. This is going to be the charging port. And I want to say it's going to be for headphones. That's kind of odd. And let's see here. Oh, if it's like my other one, I gotta hold it until it actually beeps. There we go. Perfect. And right now it's on counts per minute. Now I do have a little something here that I picked up recently at uh, an antique shop. It's going to be uranium glass. I'm going to go ahead and fire up my other one here. Go ahead and get them side by side. Let them stabilize here real quick, and then we'll get take a quick look at them. Okay, so we've waited about three or four minutes here, and uh, this one here is definitely detecting a higher rate than this one, which is understandable because it detects alpha radiation as well. I do have my uranium glass sitting over there, still inside the bubble wrap. Let's just go ahead and bring it closer. Now, granted, this one's going to have the sensor on the back, where this one's got the sensor on the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of bring this one right up here. And the bubble wrap, you know, it's going to detect a little bit more. Which I'm expecting the bubble wrap to block out a lot of the alpha and, you know, some of the beta a little bit. So we're going to say it's kind of topping out close to 38, 40, 41 there. Let's see how fast this one detects. <laughs> Definitely much higher, much faster. Which is kind of what I was expecting. One of the problems I've been having at the, at the different uh, antique stores is I keep going around with this one 
and I'll I can detect there's something close by, but I can't seem to locate it. I'm thinking with this, I'm going to have a much easier time locating items that I'm wanting to, to figure out what exactly is radioactive inside there. Because even, you know, from a distance, I probably have it a good two, two and a half feet away. It's still going to detect something there. This one over here, that close to it, and it's sorry, dropped down to pretty much background. But this one, it's definitely detecting it. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the plastic. Let's just take a quick look and see how they detect at that point. Okay, so here we have our little text, test article. It's a cute little thing. That's the reason why I wanted it. They had it under a black light. And it was really cute. Of course, you have it right up on it. It's going to detect a little bit more, more of the beta radiation, I'm sure. It's eventually going to get up to about 80. I think that's where it was at the antique shop. It was detecting it by 80. But this one, on the other hand, if I get right up close to it, average of around 900 counts per minute. That's me and, you know, right up on it. But definitely much easier to detect. Much easier to detect it. Yeah, that's much, it's, it's definitely going to make it easier to detect what's around compared to this so i'm kind of interested to see how this works i'm going to definitely uh be taking that around to the different antique shops and try that out, that one out it's going to be a little bit harder to stick it in my pocket but <laughs> i just got to figure out how to make the screen rotate i think it you can make it rotate. yeah there it goes it does it on its own cool anyway uh, this is just a quick look at it i haven't had a chance to go through the owner's manual on it or anything but uh definitely be interested to see how this works out anyway i'll uh, be posting some more videos soon thank you for watching take care and i'll catch you in the next one